Harry and Meghan's American dream is in danger of turning into a nightmare after reports that money is running out in Montecito following the couple's departure from Spotify. There are also rumours that their £40 million Netflix deal is at risk because of a lack of new ideas, although a spokesman for the streaming service insists talks are ongoing. Well, joining us now is world biographer Tom Bauer. Tom, I don't know how you do it. You get the best scoops. What on earth are they going to do? Well, I think they've got a major problem because, as I've always said, their real issue is that other than hammering British royal family, they haven't got anything else to do. And they've now sort of run out of uh, fuel. They First of all, uh, there was the Netflix, their series, and then there was Harry's spare book. They've done the Oprah Winfrey show. All that really is left for them is Meghan's biography, which it, indeed would earn her a lot of money. But uh, that is really the problem. They really fled to America on a false premise. They said they wanted privacy, and all they've been able to earn money on on is by exposing their own unhappiness with the royal family. And it's a, a shocking state of affairs that they really have trashed our royal family so they can profit, but they've now taken it as far as they can. And, and they've created for themselves a very expensive lifestyle. I mean, they can't get by on 50 bucks a week, can they? Uh, uh, and they seem to... Uh, at the outset, create this kind of fantasy that they would become top-level producers of television dramas and movies for Netflix and God knows what. And when we learned recently of some of their ideas, uh, they were, uh, I think I can say, pretty weak. Uh, one of them was uh, uh, Emily in Paris, only with a bloke. Uh, that is not a top-level idea that's going to get you into production. Uh, they had ideas above their station, didn't they, in terms of Hollywood production? Well, it's not just above their station, above their intelligence and above their experience. Harry has never done anything other than be a soldier. And uh, Meghan was an actress on a very low-grade uh, soap and made it uh, because she married Harry. But otherwise, she would have disappeared as an unknown. The idea that they have anything to contribute beyond their uh, trashing of the royal family is, is laughable. But I think they've been found out. What is remarkable is how they are now ridiculed in Hollywood, how they're ignored in New York, how, in fact, they have to really grovel for attention. And that, of course, is why they now face this uh, financial problem, not a crisis, that they've set themselves up to be living like royals, but their income is pretty limited. And uh, uh, Meghan is a very, very high-maintenance woman. She likes to live on a high style now, high standard. And the money ain't coming in. And we saw from their charity, they couldn't raise much money at all last year. So I think they're really facing a financial crisis. It was absolutely predictable. Uh, and where they go from here is probably they're going to have to downsize and think again. I mean, that is the, the, the question, isn't it? Where do they go from here? Because they've rather painted themselves into a corner. It seems unlikely she should go. She could go back into the acting world, given uh, how unsuccessful all of her projects have been, and that, as you said, she's rather ridiculed and treated a bit like uh, the plague in uh, Hollywood. Um, there was suggestions that she could start posting things on Instagram for money, but that's a kind of rather tawdry business of backing products, isn't it? Do you think they're going to end up essentially groveling to come back? to the royal family? Well, I think, don't think they'll grow to come back because I think one thing Meghan doesn't want to do is live in London. She always wanted to live in California and Harry was her meal ticket. No, I think that they will just have to live in much more careful situation and limit their standard of living. But the real problem is that if they're pushed into a corner, they may be desperate and say some more terrible things. We shouldn't forget that they made their fame and their fortune by uttering 17 lies to Oprah Winfrey in their original interview two years ago, just over. And God knows what they'd get up to now just to survive. And, and the tension between them as they run out of money will be enormous. So I think that it isn't very, it's not very healthy for the British royal family, but I don't see how they find a way to actually sustain their standard of living. After all, Megan's book for the ch for children on the beach book was pretty rubbishy, 
Harry's book was ghosted. It was a sensational sale, but he doesn't have another book in him, I don't think, unless he invents more lies. Uh, and so the only book that really would sell is her own autobiography. That, I think, would be absolutely sensational because she could write whatever she likes. Mm. And the one thing that we know about Megan is she has a very vivid imagination. <laughs>